Valentina, who is uh, being extremely active in the development of uh, Italian dressage. He has a lot of uh, young students and uh, I think is doing a great job in the communication around dressage in her own country. Uh, she was actually uh, riding uh, her young rider horse today, Chablis, in the CDI three star in the Cure. Um, he is uh, not a young horse anymore, but he has done a lot with Valentina and he, she's not uh, letting him down and still taking him to the shows together with uh, Eremo, which is a really nice story. So it's another rider like uh, Diderik training with her father Enzo, who also is a five-star judge. It's really under control, those half-passes. Speed and balance are really uh, totally controlled. Mm. Really nice rain back. We have our five strides. very regular passage and coming quicker and more close behind to prepare the PF. Really sitting and on the spot. Okay, tiny, slight uh, loss of control out of the PF, but uh, nothing, nothing very bad. Of course, with those rides, we have to uh, either just uh, sit and watch and enjoy or uh, just try to think of uh, what can still be tiny bit improved and what will the, what the judges will uh, notice to make their ranking. So from here we can uh, hear a tiny bit of uh, grinding teeth which would uh, of course uh, affect a little bit. Each judge will uh, adapt his mark. Really nice start in the passage immediately. And yes, slight resistance in this uh, PF and out. Not as nice as the first one. Yeah, I think sometimes when it's uh, one of the highlights, uh, like Remo with Piaf, it's really nice and on the spot Piaf, but then it's difficult not to go over the top to the mistake. So it's always, uh, this is a very collected canter, really uh, on the spot for some reason. She started really early with the changes. Uh, there are nine changes every two strides and uh, of course if there's no mistake it's good but it's uh, the mark will go even higher if they are well spread on the diagonal and um, there's the same distance before the first change and after the last one just adds a little bit of uh, points at the end oh, it's really uh, straight and uh, Nice transition here, but not an amazing extended canter, just a tiny bit conservative. Mm, now a mistake uh, in this half pass. And uh, yeah, not going uh, 
that much sidewards. Uh, if we compare it with uh, Sandro Boy, then uh, we really notice a, a big difference on how much the, the strides and the half path go sidewards. Uh, we've got just a tight change to the left, the first one. And, uh, okay, we see it from uh, the back, but um, in the front legs, the horse uh, really went dancing from right to left. So, of course, um, from where the judges are sitting, it will have a different influence on the, the score. But everyone would have uh, noticed. Uh, it's not that the smallest pier would uh, Eremo can make, but it's uh, okay, clear. I think uh, this one is much, much nicely, much nicer, nicely ridden. And we are the only ones to be cold because Eremo is really sweating tonight and he seems to be having a... Okay, that's a uh, really correct extension. Very straight, last line, nice passage, very regular, and nicely written transition to PF, very steady, oh shame, mistake, just going out, we had a canter stride, uh, the transition in and out uh, count together in a single mark. So that was Valentina, Bowen, fixed designer, Mo Del Castaño.